Behold the Dreamers is the debut novel by Cameroonian author Mbolo Mboy, and it tells the story of two families affected by the economic crisis of 2008. Jonda and Nenny are Cameroonian immigrants looking to make their American dream come true. So when Jonda gets a job as the chauffeur for an executive at Lehman Brothers, these two lovebirds feel as if they are on track to making their American dream come true by becoming American citizens and providing a good life for their family. And Jonda's boss, Clark, and his wife, Cindy, are already living the American dream with Clark's Wall Street salary and their summer home in the Hamptons and their oldest son's teenage crisis of what to do with all of his privilege. And it's only a matter of time before their dream turns into a nightmare. Enter the financial collapse of 2008, when the world learned that when you play the market, the market plays you. So as the recession looms, Clark loses his job, putting Jonda's job at risk, and puts Nenny's academic aspirations on hold, and puts Cindy at the mercy of pills and potions. And everyone's world is turned upside down because who can deal with American politics? So, will these marriages survive the turmoil? Will these husbands provide for their families? And can these wives stay sane enough to wait and see? So Mbolo Mbwe provides a depth to the people behind the crisis with her crafting of both families' intersection at this moment in time. It's a fascinating story that speaks to the events that unite us, even if we're coming from opposite ends of the spectrum. But it says that whether it's political, social, or economic, we all end up bearing a little bit of the cost sooner or later, whether it's in our pockets or in our relationships. So the novel did leave a few questions unanswered for me, and there were a few scenes that felt a a little bit misplaced or unnecessary and the scenes that were supposed to be climactic just sort of fell flat. So I wasn't blown away by this story and truth be told my moments of elation came from the food and the music that were mentioned which had me ready to go to my nearest West African function. And while I found the characters to be a bit bland, the story was compelling enough to finish. But what I'm most impressed by is that Mbola Mboy is truly a novice novelist and I hear that she hadn't taken up writing before she started working on this novel. And after hearing that, I was so impressed because it does read like she's a seasoned author. I think that Mboy was very ambitious and very passionate about the theme she put in this novel and the economic crisis is still fresh in a lot of our minds so that helps to contextualize the story. So it's a cool read for your commute, as a book club choice, or just a nice weekend read so you can just get away and fall into a story. So turn off the television, unplug from social media, and curl up to this novel that gives you a nice balance of politics, culture, and humanity. So next up, I have a review of Krista Door by Tim Murphy, a book I can't believe I almost missed because it completely blew me away. Tell me what you're reading in the comments below, and if you've read Behold the Dreamers, definitely share your thoughts as well. So this review is brought to you by Mahogany Books, where I got my lovely copy of Behold the Dreamers. You can check out their website now. The link is down below where you can get 15% off on your copy of Behold the Dreamers by Mbolo Mboy. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, remember to read or be read. Bye.